All right. So now what we're going to try to do, we're going to go back now that they're warmed up, hopefully. Rowie, touch. <laughs> Exhibit A. So now I'm going to try to lure her. I'm going to stop using the word. I'm going to see if I can get her to come down and see if I'll get her to respond. Touch. Yes. There we go. So it would do me no good to keep asking touch, 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 but I can lure her into position, which is what I want you guys to do with your puppies. So now we're going to warm them up with that leave it exercise we did last week. Remember one treat in one hand and then the other treats in your other hand. Present your hand, leave it, yes. And as soon as you get active disinterest, you're going to yes in treat. I'm going to try to open my hand, leave it. She's still going for it, so I'm going to close my hand. I know. Leave it. She's still going for it. I'm going to close it. She might try to nip, but okay. Yes. So I'm rewarding her for walking away. I'm not repeating leave it. Leave it. Yes. She actually did it when I asked instead of having me having to make it easier. Now your puppies are going to be a lot faster than this cat. So when you go like this, if they're already jumping for it, leave it. Yes. Um, if they're jumping for it, you might have to just keep a closed fist for a while. If they get the object that you're asking them to leave, it's operator error. <laughs> it's, so it's better to keep your hand closed and then maybe even do a bunch of leave it's here. And then for every now and again, boop, and then ask for a leave it if your puppy is really too distracted, not able to come off of it without an open hand. Leave it. Yes. Oh, <laughs> hi. Do you want to try? You've never done this. So believe it or not, these two are litter mates. <laughs> Just one of them thinks she's a dog. Leave it. Yes. Ha ha. All right. So how's that go? Oh, this smells so bad. Here, Baha, you take this. All right. So what I am going to do here is I'm going to put the, the leave it item on the ground and I'm gonna cover it with my hand. Very similar to how we had it in our closed fist earlier. Oh, good job. Um, so I'm going to cover it on the floor, but I'm not going to use the word leave it because now I'm adding another layer of difficulty. Think about your dog. If it's on the floor, they think it's theirs. <laughs> so this week we're going to work on leaving it on the floor, but I'm not going to use the word until I can get active disinterest in this new, uh, the way that it looks this way in this new view. So I'm going to put some on the floor and I'm going to cover it and I'm gonna wait her out. So this looks different. This no longer is my hand in a closed fist, it's now something on the floor. She's licking. Yes, she looked up a little bit. She was still kind of hovering over the treat, but I'm gonna take it. Ready, Ro? What's this? Yes, so as soon as I get active disinterest, I'm gonna feed her sister a little bit. Hey, Rowie, over here, look. Yes. And again, once I can bet my mortgage that she'll leave it, I'm going to go ahead and start using that word. Leave it. Yes. Good job. I can't believe this is working, you guys. I'm so excited to be training a cat. Leave it. Yes. So as she gets better, I'm going to start to raise my hand a little bit more so she can get under it now. I'm going to make it. Oh, she knows where it's coming from. Leave it. She goes for it. I'm going to lower my hand. If she makes a mistake, I'm going to cover it more. If she walks away, I'm going to kind of lift it up. Yes. So leave it. Yes. So I had my hand up just a little bit. Hey, Rowie. Rowan. Oh my God, my room is smelling like tuna fish. Be a dog trainer, they said. It's glamorous, they said. <laughs> you 
smell like bacon and tuna. All right, Rowie, what's this? Leave it. Oh, now she knows it's there. She got a little taste of it. So she's a little more insistent and that'll happen with your dogs too. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Sit. I'm gonna put it behind my back. Leave it. Yes. So yes, my hand right now is still a cue to her to move her head away, but I'm trying to make it harder by like lifting my hand up more and more. For your puppies, because you guys are using kibble or treats that you're putting down, right now I'm using a smear on the ground. So this is a little bit different than what you guys would use. But if you guys are putting food on the ground, be careful that you're not, if your puppy's sitting here, that you're not putting it right in front of them, that you're kind of giving them a little bit of space so that way they have to get up and move towards you. They don't necessarily have to be in a sit or a down, but it might be if your puppy can handle being asked to sit. We're not telling them to stay. We're not telling them to wait. We haven't covered those yet in class. It's literally their forward motion makes your hand cover the treat. And if they look away, they get something from the other side, something of equal or better value from the other hand. Bro, leave it. Yes. 